Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's spring haul has a few River Island pieces, Lily Silk, H&M, so quite an affordable haul today so I hope you enjoy. The first item is from Lily Silk. This is my first purchase from them. Obviously they are all over social media. So I have been wanting to try one of their cashmere jumpers for ages. It comes beautifully packaged. If you remember my John Lewis cashmere knit. It is very similar to that. So it's a cream roll neck. It's quite thin. I've heard really, really good things about Lily Silk. At first glance, it doesn't disappoint. It feels really, really soft. It is quite thin, but that's quite nice with cashmere or well with jumpers in general, because it means you can layer and it being cashmere, it means that it will still be warm, even though it is lightweight. I'm going to pop this on in a second, but first I want to show you a pair of trousers that I got from River Island because I want to pop the two on together. You may be thinking, Oh my goodness, what is that colour doing in Emma's wardrobe? Emma is a neutrals girl, but I do really like hot pink and I think that this shade of pink suits me quite well. I think it kind of brings out my eyes and stuff, doesn't make my skin look quite so dull as, I say, a blush pink does. I do prefer a blush pink, to be honest, but seeing as we're going to be coming into warmer weather soon, hopefully, um, I thought these would be really, really nice for work and I like the um, tie belt around the waist as well because often I find my figure is just a bit awkward for trousers and I find that if it fits on the waist it doesn't fit on the hips and vice versa so I thought let's get one that you can cinch in. So they are a wide leg pink trouser. I feel a bit like a clown in this outfit, I won't lie. I love the knit, it is absolutely gorgeous, it's everything that I was hoping for, it fits really well. The sleeves are a bit long like they always are but that's fine, you know, you can just turn them up a little bit. Not like that, I don't know why I did it like that. The trousers, um, they were a little bit big around the waist, but the belt ties it really, really nicely. It doesn't look like it's too big once it's tied, but obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of fabric around the um, hip area. So I think I would definitely go down size with that. So I would say with the trousers, you should go true to size. With the knit, just go true to size, or you could even size down. It's almost got like an oversize. You could size, to be honest, you could size up or down, or go true to size in the knit, and you'd probably be fine. Just depends what look you're going for. I'm not really into the oversized look. Oh, and they do have pockets, so that is good. I really like the trousers. I love a pair of wide leg trousers, but obviously, just look at that. <laughs> they just do not fit me at all. The next item I got from River Island is a work dress well a shift dress and my idea is to wear it for work and it's got these little button details on here as well and in fact they are hammered gold which is a detail I really like. I don't usually go for shift dresses because they don't tend to look great on my figure but this is an A-line one so I'm hoping it will work for me and maybe if not I can belt it um, but we will see what that one looks like. And I have a pair of tights to style with that dress. I've been looking for a pair of white lacy tights for ages but a lot of them only come in one size and I just wasn't convinced that they would fix. I do carry a lot of my weight on my legs and so it can sometimes if you have patterned tights my thighs can like stretch them and then you lose the nice pattern. So I managed to find some from a brand called Notori, which is an American brand. And they actually arrived, I would say probably within about two weeks, which I didn't think was that bad at all. I mean, stuff from the UK seems to be arriving in about two weeks at the moment. So I'm really hoping that these fit and that they look good with that dress because I think that's a nice way to bring a black work dress into spring. And these obviously will keep you warm if it is a colder day. And if the weather gets warmer, then you can wear the dress with nude tights or with no tights. I actually really really like this dress. I'm surprised how good it looks. Like normally a dress of this style would not really suit my figure. I'm a little bit uncertain here because when my arms are exposed I get a little bit not so confident um, but I'm sure I can get over that. I can always just shove my hair forwards <laughs> if nothing else. I love the ties. They're a little bit big but not where it's a problem and actually it just means that they're quite comfortable which is nice. The dress is actually a little bit big around here so I'm not sure if going down the size would really work or if it would be better because I think it's quite a stretchy material so I think it probably would fit but then it might not look as good so I might just get it tailored. Are these functional pockets? <gasps> There's like a little stitch. The button has been stitched to the dress. <laughs> which is silly, um, you might be able to snip it, but then you might have to re the button on to the front of the pocket, but if you were to do that, you could use the pockets 
as pockets, which I know, mind blown. Next I have a piece from H&M, there's a lot of white <laughs> on the screen at the moment. It is a proper shirt dress, I mean it basically just looks like a work shirt, but really long and I'm planning on pairing this with my tan belt. It obviously does need an iron, but I'm not going to do that until I've decided whether or not I'm going to keep it. I'm not entirely certain if I will be able to upload this, because it is quite see-through. <laughs> It might be too X-rated, but I really like it. I was a bit worried it might be way too long for me, but actually it hits about mid-calf, which is about right. I've styled it with my Loewe belt, which it definitely needs. It's very baggy otherwise, and I have rolled up the sleeves. If I wear them like, long as they were, it just looks ridiculous, and it looks, it looks very office-y then, even though obviously it's not office-y because it's long and see-through. I've also styled it with my June flats because they match the belt. But I do kind of feel like I need a bit of a lift when I just stand flat and you can't really tell on camera. I just feel like I look a bit wrong. So I might get a pair of block heels in this same tan colour because I just find that it looks so, so nice with white outfits. But I think this would be a really nice outfit in itself, but also as like a beach cover up. I think if you were to take like a big oversized straw tote bag with you. I really like this outfit. This has the Emma seal of approval. Thank you so much for joining me for today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you're new here, then you may not know that I do videos every single Sunday. Sometimes I do the odd one on a Wednesday as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, then that's more where that came from. So please do subscribe and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.